Hi, I'm Michael Smith for Nevada Trails. Today, a very special show. I have Jim Davis of the Clear, uh, Jim, Clear Creek Bowman, and uh, he's one of my favorite people we've had on the show uh, uh, numerous times, and definitely in my very, very beginning, about five and a half years ago. Uh, welcome to Nevada Trails. Well, thanks. Well, what's going on with the Clear Creek Bowman? I, um, I've looked at your schedule. You've had some major shoots. You had a shoot in uh, back in March for the Hell and High Water shoot. Correct. I thought that was kind of cool. And then you have um, your uh, CCB youth shoot in, uh, in May. Correct. And then a CCB cancer shoot in uh, May. How'd and, that one do for the... Well, uh, we did real well, and uh, this is like probably 20 years, and the, the profit from that shoot uh, goes to the Carson City Advocates for Cancer Care. Excellent. And hopefully uh, each year we can donate $1,000. Uh, normally our shoots are covering it in the past, we didn't cover it, and we ha had to take a little out of our savings to make the thousand dollars. But and not that a thousand dollars is going to cure cancer, but uh, the Carson Advocates for Cancer Care people they just say, hey, it'll pay their uh, heating bills or light bills, uh, uh, buy them some food or whatever uh, for a few special patients. So they're real uh, happy to get that money, and uh, they always show up and. Uh, uh, cook for us or uh, run our soda stands and stuff like that so our members can go ahead and shoot the shoot. Well that sounds like a pretty big deal if you have cancer and you can't pay your light bill. It's uh, very distressful. And they are uh, so appreciative. It, 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 it's amazing and a lot of them are cancer survivors themselves so we feel it's going to a real good cause. Well, there's some real sharp uh, people in this community that help uh, drive people as well. It, it's really in, it's incredible that the the, uh, the help we get from that from that particular group. And the survival rate's getting better. I bet if they could budget or count on that thousand every year, that's a good thing to be so consistent. Yeah, and yeah. and normally uh, the the people are uh, that show up for the shoot, they're real generous and. Uh, and normally we make our $1,000 quota, and we're real happy to give it to them, and they're real happy to receive it. So. How many people were at that shoot? About 75. That's a good shoot. Yeah, that's a good shoot. Then uh, you have the um, October 14th, the uh, CCB uh, turkey shoot? Correct. We, and we just had that, and uh, it's uh, a flight system where anyone can win. Uh, we break it up into seven flights. And it's it's kind of a, a flight system. Is uh, uh, you could shoot, you could be the best shooter, but shoot real bad and shoot two or three flights down. You just put everybody's name uh, in from the top shooter to the bottom shooter, and say if you had seventy shooters, there'd be ten in each flight. So you just mark a line, and then on each flight, you take the top three, and they receive a turkey. So you can fall anywhere in that category and do, uh, you can shoot real bad that day and win a turkey, or you can be the top shooter and win well, a turkey. Well, was that one, of the, I think, was the one year before last, and you got a turkey. Did you get a turkey last year? Uh, I, and last two years, I have not gotten a turkey. Oh, I don't show up, you don't get a turkey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I must spur you on. And then coming up uh, December 2nd, it, uh, it's a real um, big deal, is the uh, Christmas with a cop. Tell me a little bit about that. Exactly. Now, uh, the Christmas with a cop, uh, we, uh, if the weather's real bad, uh, a lot of people don't want to shoot, but we set out, depending on the weather, we set out maybe 10 to 20 targets, and uh, uh, you show up, and uh, registration is uh, uh, an unwrapped toy for a, a child, and we fill a barrel with it and uh, some people will shoot, some people won't, and at the end of the day we take those toys down to the Carson City Sheriff's Office. We uh, give them to the Carson City Sheriff's and they said if uh, kids, uh, if their parents are having problems or whatever, they distribute those uh, toys to kids that are in need and, and need a little help and don't have a whole lot. So, so even if you can't do the shoot, you can probably just drop off a toy. Exactly. And uh, the, the sheriff's office is real happy to get them, especially in this economy. People don't have money uh, for big Christmases, and uh, they, uh, they have something to give uh, to the kids if they're in need. Well, if they want to donate, uh, what, uh, how can I get a hold of you? 
Uh, well, we, uh, uh, my phone number is 883-0389, and you can talk to Jim Davis or Jim or Carol Davis, or you can show up at our archery range uh, on that, uh, on December, the Sunday, December 2nd, that's east of Carson City, uh, on east side of the golf course, and uh, we'll be out there pretty much all day, mm -hmm. and you can drop off a gift. Well, how's, uh, how's Carol doing? And she is... Great. She's uh, the secretary. She runs the club and <laughs> and never takes any credit for it. No, she won't. I can't get her on the air if I, if I tried. But um, what you all do is you basically get uh, a lot of kids outside in the clear air. Uh, you have, uh, when you talk about targets, can you elaborate on your targets? Because people won't believe how nice they are probably. Well, they're uh, three-dimensional animal targets. Uh, and they're full-size deer, elk, moose, uh, coyotes, and down to skunks, you know, and uh, we set them at different distances, and uh, uh, we'll set a stake, and everyone shoots from the same stake, an unmarked stake, and uh, uh, just go through, and we have a scoring system, and you just keep scoring. Uh, on, now, on the Christmas uh, with uh, cop shoot, we don't do any scoring system. I mean, we don't worry about keeping the score because there's no prizes or anything. It's about getting donations for the kids. But uh, on most of the shoots, uh, the, we have a scoring system and, and, and a classification system. You shoot anywhere from a freestyle compound shooter with sights and a release and a movable sight down to a traditional shooter. And naturally, they're all in different classes. Well, some of the equipment there is outstanding. We have a lot of equipment. Uh, we have a youth shoot going on, and um, in the summer on Tuesday nights, we shoot on Wednesday night. Uh, we, we're out there from 5 o'clock till dark, and if you're interested in shooting, you can come out. Kids are free. Uh, First-time adults are free. After that, uh, the adults are $5, and the kids are always free. We'll furnish the equipment. We have... Uh, traditional equipment. Uh, we have the compound bows. We have arrows, finger tabs, arm, arm guard, finger gloves. And uh, again, the kids are always free. And uh, we'll set them up <clears throat> with a bow, get the proper weight bow, the proper arrows, and uh, get the kids shooting a bow if they're interested in doing that. Well, I had my uh, intern here uh, years back in, uh, named Tommy, and he didn't have anything. And we took him to the shoot. And he was so excited about it. you guys. Not only do you provide the equipment, but you also fed him, and he had plenty of thing, plenty to eat, and it was a very nice, festive atmosphere. And oh yeah, it's a good, it's a good time. He went when we went back to um, Gardnerville. Uh, he was so happy and, and telling the tale of the story that uh, the local man, a uh, pharmacist who uh, runs the Carson Valley Medical Center at the pharmacy department, gave him a, a brand new bow. Because he had that spirit, you know. <laughs> yeah. So like, it, it, it affected somebody who loved uh, shooting, but just hadn't had time with his career. And he gave it to uh, Tommy. And uh, I keep on waiting to find out how good he is right now. Now, uh, one thing I can't really uh, mention the youth shoot without bringing up the Tom Brooks uh, fishing derby. And uh, one of our members is also a member of the Tom Brooks fishing derby. And he, uh, the. Uh, Tom Brooks was a local fisherman, and he liked to help the kids out while well, he passed away. Oh. And uh, so they set up a fishing derby in his name. And he said, well, if you have a youth shoot going, uh, we'd like to uh, contribute some financing. And for the last three years, they have uh, financed our youth shoot. They, they, they have bought bows. Uh, they bought any equipment we needed. Uh, that we bend a lot of arrows out there, the kids do. So uh, uh, we will, they bought everything to rebuild the arrows, and if they're bent, we, we have a straightener, we can straighten them. If they're too bent, we can, the longer arrows, we can cut down, uh, refletch them, uh, put new knocks, new tips. And so uh, we've, uh, we've got probably 300 to 350 arrows for the kids or adults whoever needs to use them, different lengths, different weights. And uh, we've got some really nice equipment 
uh, that has been financed by the uh, Tom Brooks Fishing Derby. Well, I was kind of laughing you said that because when you were giving uh, Tommy lessons, your uh, course is designed so behind the, um, the target, there's a pretty big wall of, of dirt and... Rock. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what the part I was going to say yeah. a, after that. So when he missed one, it went ding! <laughs> and you, you didn't even look for it, you just said, oh, that's a goner. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll he, find it later. We'll yeah. find it, but we didn't. We, we had um, you know, plenty of time to shoot, and uh, you got to elaborate that when you. How many targets did you have out that day? Uh, we had thirty out that so, day. So, but so you're getting the kids out there, and this is an actual pretty good hike. It's there. It, exactly. You got a safe distance between these these targets, and then you go to another target, and you have a, the perfect course. I mean, it, it is safe. And and that's our safety is our main thing, and uh, but we want to get. The kids interested, and a lot of the kids we've in the last two years we've put uh, 500 kids uh, each year through our our youth program, and those kids are bringing their parents back, and we get the parents shooting. Well, it's good for the parents too. Actually, it was good for me. We're down to a little bit for a break. Could you give your uh, the contact information if people are interested in uh, finding out more about the Clear Creek Bowman? Okay. Uh, well, we have a website, and it's uh, the uh, Clear Creek Bowman uh, CC dot com, and or you can uh, call Jim Davis at eight eight three zero three eight nine, and uh, or go to the website, and uh, we have a, a schedule of events on the website, and uh, right now we have an indoor shoot going. On uh, we have a you can get the indoor shoot schedule. It's either Wednesday or Friday night at Fuji Park in Carson City. Again, uh, adults are five dollars, kids are a dollar, and uh, but if you don't have the dollar, we'll we'll spring for the dollar. Well, it's, it, uh, it'll be free. Clear Creek Bowman is a, a very top-notch nonprofit, and uh, uh, right now you're going to see some pictures and um, enjoy. Thank you very much. Jim Davis of the Clear Creek Bowman, and uh, we collaborated at the end of the, the first segment about the uh, the indoor shoot at Fuji Park Exhibit Hall, and it's at 701 Old Clear Creek Road, and that's in Carson City. It's right across from uh, Costco, and one of the things, uh, I have a schedule on it, 
You're doing shoots like, um, looks like four a month? Four a month, once a week. So you have 12-7, uh, 12-12, uh, 12, 12, 12 21, and 12-26. Correct. So you have a lot of friends in from the holidays that can take them to uh, something to do. Exactly. Something a lot more exciting than uh, staring at the TV. Exactly. Yeah. Now, uh, what's going on is uh, we had a lot of demand, people wanting to shoot indoors to have something to do for the winter. And um, again, uh, kids uh, come in. It's a dollar for the kids to shoot. We have to pay for the light bill. And it's actually uh, the Carson City Recreation Department set this up, and it's the Clear Creek Bowman is sponsoring it by uh, furnishing bows, arrows, instructions for the kid, and uh, then uh, so we want to. Uh, they're they're going to charge us uh, per person. But if a person, if a kid doesn't have the dollar, come at, come down and shoot anyway, and Clear Creek Bowman will pick up the dollar fee. So uh, we we just kind of got started. We've had about three shoots. We, we, they let us store our bales down there. We bring the bales indoors. Uh, we've got heat, we've got light. And um, so, and we shoot out to 20 yards. Now the, uh, the smaller kids will bring a, a bale up uh, uh, closer to 10 yards so they don't have to shoot so far. And uh, it's, we've had uh, you know, great enthusiasm over it. The kids are showing up. They're bringing their parents, and uh, uh, we've had uh, nothing but compliments. We're going to start a league, and uh, awesome. And uh, uh, the kids uh, don't feel intimidated by the league thing. It's a lot of the um, veteran shooters want the league, but if a kid just wants to come, we're going to have bales. For them, that they don't have to worry about the league or anything like that. If they want to join, that's fine, and uh, there's no cost. It's just uh, different. Uh, they'll be shooting at one style of target, and the league shooters will be shooting at a different with a different format. And um, but we'll have everything taken care of. We'll be furnishing the targets, and uh, we're also looking at. Uh, doing the state indoor male in tournament at, at some time so we're we're trying to uh set that up with the nbha uh nevada bow hunters association and uh get that uh get the format for that this is our first year we years ago we shot indoors at the old armory on carson street uh now the fuji park um uh site has been uh, been made available. We tried to get everything on one night, but we couldn't, so we split it up. And again, that schedule is uh, on our website at www.clearcreekbowman.cc.com. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, if you go to that website, the indoor schedule is available, and you can see what times. But normally, we're, shoot, uh, we're setting up from five to six, and uh, shooting starts at uh, six o'clock. And again, kids are a dollar, adults are five dollars. If you don't have the dollar, come down and we'll uh, make sure the dollar's paid for you and you can shoot anyway. Can uh, you um, bring in Christmas gifts for the kids for the for uh, will there be like a drop center there too? Uh, well, yeah, we could Contide we could together. accept them at that time. Uh, it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, but that uh, uh, our the Christmas with a cop shoot will be at our outdoor exactly. range. I just thought of it as an idea. Yeah, and, and like, yeah, the collection center. Yeah. Also, are you still getting the free bales? I think you had mentioned something about Starbucks has a cover or something. Well, uh, what we have is. Uh, we had an insulation company that has the foam insulation, and they were taking that insulation to the landfill, and it Ooh. cost them a lot of money because it doesn't decompose very well. Well, one of our members um, asked them if they would bale it up, so they bailed it up about the size of three straw bales, and then they, they banded it so it wouldn't come apart. And then they dropped off a half a dozen. We take some shrink wrap, wrap it, and then take these... Uh, covers you're talking about, and we wrap it with that. So if the wind blows 
our shrink wrap doesn't blow around and litter stuff. And uh, so we're shooting at these bales now, and, and they, they're incredible. They hold up. The ar arrows are easy to retrieve. And uh, so they, uh, it saves them money. They drop the bales off to us, get rid of them. We use them for uh, our archery bales for a couple of years, and then they end up in the landfill. All and, right. And so it's a, a, a kind of a recycle thing, and it's really, uh, it saves us money. Uh, again, we can use that money for, uh, to make sure the kids don't ha uh, have a huge expense to come down and shoot. Mm -hmm. And again, at the indoor shoot, we'll have bows available. Uh, we'll have arrows, arm guards, finger tabs, and we'll have uh, people that will provide instruction for first-time shooters. And uh, we've had a great response to it, and, uh, and the uh, people are real interested in the league, and uh, so we're, uh, we might even have to bring in another couple bales. We, uh, <laughs> we have... Uh, six bales down there now we might go to eight bales so everybody has the opportunity to shoot well it's a good thing and uh, it, it's a great interest in it and something to do on Wednesday night or Friday night what well at uh, the this uh, location the Fuji Park is there, um, uh, is there a food and pop available or do you have to bring a sandwich or something well uh, most people eat before they come mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it's just uh, south of Costco just right across the street from Costco in the big uh, uh, barn looking building at Fuji Park and uh, like I say we have heat we have lights. Heat's good. Heat's good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, your Quonset hut's a little cold sometimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we have a big net that uh, stretches clear across the room so if you miss it hits the net and we're not putting uh, holes in their walls and uh, so uh, we want to take care of the parks department. They've uh, for Carson City they've set this up and made it available for the kids and it's one of the reasons that we can uh, do uh, free uh, shooting for the kids. Well, Parks and Rec in this, this region is awesome. They're, they're incredible and they, they encourage it. They, they want to uh, provide something to do for these kids and it, it's really, uh, it, it's been great that we could uh, get involved with the parks department and they, what's uh, the name of your friend that's that's helping you with this uh, Joel Dunn and yeah. he's an archer and uh, he's uh, uh, he's real receptive and uh, real positive about it and gonna shout out for him because uh, he had to probably uh, clear some hurdles to get this done and he got it done and he got it done yeah, yeah. well you're hitting how many years have you been doing this uh, well, we're in, we, we kind of started, we were struggling with our youth program, and uh, I would say it's about eight years that we've been doing it. But the first three or four years, uh, we, we would have kids come, and we didn't really have good equipment, so they were sharing bows, sharing arrows, uh, and so they didn't get the full impact of it. But since uh, the financing from the Tom Brooks Fishing Derby, uh, we're able to provide each kid with a bow, each kid with a quiver, four arrows, uh, and uh, a finger tab, and and then the volunteers come out uh, when the kids show up, and uh, you give them a little instruction, and they're on their way. Well, I thought it was funny when you were teaching Tommy how to shoot that you have like a, a dominant eye. Exactly. I never even thought about something like that when he was pulling everything back, and you're a great teacher, by the way. Well, you have, thank you. You have good patience, and uh, he's always kind of in a hurry. He's a typical young teenager, and you got him to calm down and, and breathe right and use his dominant eye. And he, by, I'd say within a half hour, he was hitting the target. And these kids are incredible. And the difference between the, the boys, uh, w one boy, I wanted to give him a little instruction. He goes, oh, I've been on the Internet. I know everything <laughs> yeah. there is to know about archery. <laughs> and the little girls will... Uh, they will listen to everything you say, and then they will go uh, do what you tell them to do, and it, they they get good so fast. It's it it, it really is mind boggling. Well, with that Hunger Games coming out with her as the archer, I probably had some uh, young girls inspired to uh, learn how to shoot. An That's what. Uh, now I haven't seen the movies, but uh, they said there was two different movies that came out. And a lot of them want to shoot the traditional bows, but I encourage them to shoot traditional recurve, uh, long bow, or the uh, 
the compound bow and see which one they're comfortable with. I started out with traditional, went to compound, and then I liked uh, traditional better. I went back to the, my roots. And a lot of people have done that. You know, you get the, the high-tech guys with uh, movable sights, and uh, they've got range finders that'll calculate the angle of the distance and tell you exact. That's and, so cool. <laughs> and, they, they, and it's a whole different thing, but a lot, uh, a lot of them want to go back to traditional archery. So we provide traditional... Uh, we, uh, we, we can't go the real high tech, but we can get you started with a compound bow and uh, give you some instruction. Well, we're down to our last minute. Go ahead and give out your contact information again, and uh, let's get some people over to your, your site. Okay, well, the website is www.clearcreekbowmancc.com, or you can call Jim Davis at 883 883- zero three eight nine or if you're uh in carson city the east end of the golf course uh you'll see our bales out there and our range you can go out there and there's information posted out there and bring your bow and shoot a few arrows while you're there well i tell you i, I uh, when i was out there there were so many young people it's also a good uh family uh, it's good for it's families. family oriented, and I, I I've met a lot of families. The wife shoots, the husband shoots, the kid, and they do it with the kids, and it gets kind of like a little uh, hike on, and it just which was perfect. Exactly. So, anyways, Jim, thank you for being on Nevada Trails. Hey, well, thanks for having us and letting us uh, spread our message, and hopefully, we'll get some kids out to shoot our indoor. Well, this has been Michael Smith for Nevada Trails. Jim and Carol have been uh, helping the community for many many years, and I think uh, if you bring out your kids, you'll you'll find out the reason why. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.